Good morning everyone. So today is my final day of Dev Mountain. So this is the final vlog of the whole series as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it gave a better insight as to what a boot camp does. Today I'm actually going to interview a few people and kind of get an insight of what is the success rate of a boot camp and also why would you choose the boot camp over getting a CS degree in college? Because I know that that's one of my main questions when attending a boot camp. The way I think of it as a boot camp is definitely more specialized in, in a like you want to go there for iOS development development or web development. Whereas with college, it's a little bit more abstract, a lot of the things that they teach, but also you go there and learn a whole wide array of things. And that doesn't mean it's necessarily better, but I do want to ask that question of why would you do a boot camp over a CS degree? So anyway, let's begin this day. Not there yet. Not here either. Now we're good. So currently everyone's inside of their classroom taking their test. And their test right now is pretty much what they did yesterday, creating a journal application, but they just don't use any notes. So it'll be interesting to see how they do. I'll talk to them a little bit later, but right now, Andrew Matson, he's the guy in charge of everything, is going to give a lecture. So I'm gonna go ahead and listen to that. And yeah. A concurrent program is a program that does more than one thing at the same time. That's what concurrent means. Your program can do two or more things at once. All right, so in the capstone group, we just did a lecture with Andrew, um, and he just talked about dispatch queues, concurrency, threading, all that kind of stuff. Now, I've used threading and dispatch queues, but I never really understood why or what they meant to a certain extent. I knew a little bit, but this helped explain things a bit more for me. I still have a lot to learn, though, about all that. It's a confusing topic for sure, but he's actually going over with the capstone students right now on when to use a dispatch queue or which dispatch queue would be best. Is that going to be dispatch queue or is it NS thread, other stuff like that? Which one is going to be the best for your circumstance? So we talked a little bit about that. I'm sure they're going to go a little bit more over that today, but they're probably just working on their capstone projects as well. But anyway, now it is time for lunch. So after you get out of, out of Dev Mountain, what is the typical rate that people get hired? Uh, I don't, I don't know the exact number off the top of my head right now. We keep track of that stuff, but okay, um, I think it's about somewhere in the neighborhood of eighty percent of our graduates get jobs. Oh wow! Um, that, you know, that number is kind of counting lots of different kinds of jobs. Some people get a full-time job, some people want to do contracting or freelancing, so they do that. We have some students that get up, get internships that lead to bigger things, but okay. certainly our goal is that everybody who leaves here that's worked hard and done what they should do is prepared to go out and start working in the industry. Okay, and what is the typical pay that someone can get? Uh, it, um, of course, varies on the company yeah, and how course. good you are and all of that, but the last time I looked, our average was 64000 a year for, for first starting salaries. I mean, that's more than I was making when I graduated from college. Okay, and along that note, uh, why would you choose college, or why would you choose a boot camp like Dev Mountain over a traditional college? Uh, I think that's a really great question, and of course that's a question that, that you know, we, we have to be able to answer as a school, but that every every student that we have is asking themselves. And, yeah. Um, I think we just feel like we fill a little bit different role than a college. You go to college for a computer science degree, you're going to learn a lot of theoretical stuff that's really important, and right. you're also going to get a pretty broad education with general ed and everything, but you may not actually be as prepared to enter the industry and start building software for real. Uh, and, and also, of course, it's expensive, and it takes four years of oh, your yeah. life, and you know, it's, it's a hard thing. For not, that's just not the right way to go for everyone. So. You know, we kind of condense everything down, it's super intense, you're here all day, every day, and we're mm -hmm. really, really focused on the skills you need to be an iOS developer out okay. there building apps. Um, we've had students, I've got two students on campus right now who already have computer science degrees from good universities, oh, okay. but are nevertheless in our program because they want to learn iOS development, something that school didn't teach them. And, uh, oh. you know, I have a college degree and I, in engineering, and I... I would do it over again if I were, you know, <laughs> yeah. 18 again and trying to decide what I wanted to do. But uh, for, for a lot of people, this is really just the right way to get the skills they want fast. All right. I think that answers both my questions. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Jared.
Right now we're working on Git and GitHub and learning about how to push, pull, commit, and all that kind of stuff to the repository. Cool, good stuff to know. Well, that was a fun week at Dev Mountain, but sadly, all things must go to an end. Goodbye, Snacks. Goodbye, Xbox. Boy's going viral. <laughs> But yeah, that was a lot of fun. We just learned the basics of GitHub just then. Uh, so they're going to be working with GitHub projects in the future, and a lot of people use GitHub in the workplace. So very helpful there. But now I'm going to head home, and we'll talk a little bit more about uh, my general thoughts just from this first week about Dev Mountain. So that completes my experience at Dev Mountain. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, following me along this little journey that we did. I feel like I, I, I know what a boot camp is now, whereas before I, I always thought it was an alternative to college of some form, but I didn't know exactly what they did. So that hopefully this clarified it for you. It definitely did it for me. But as far as the tests go, I, I heard a lot of people struggled with the test and I can understand why. It's a lot to learn in one week. Some of the guys did real well, you can tell that, but some of the other guys struggled with a few areas here and there. But something cool that I haven't mentioned yet about Dev Mountain is if you wanna stay back and learn something, you can go ahead and do that. You just go back to the previous week and learn uh, whatever you miss. Now, of course, with that, you have to uh, kind of leave behind your class a little bit, but I mean, at least there's the option. But something else I wanna go over real quick is the part-time. Um, someone hit me up on Slack and they gave me their mini review of part-time. He thought the whole content structure was very well planned out and that the teachers knew what they were teaching. And also to mention, part-time is a little bit cheaper because you do put in less hours. But something he mentioned about part-time, and it's totally understandable, is that it felt a bit rushed. He said for himself, um, he did part-time because he had, a, he had a family to attend to and stuff like that. And so it was hard for him to go home and work on the projects that they assigned him to do. So if you're in that situation, you might not want to consider doing part-time. But then again, he said the content and the whole structure was great. So if you can dedicate more time towards doing the projects, I think that would be great. It's just that there wasn't enough time in the class time to do everything. Because when you're doing immersive, you do the projects over again uh, if you need to, to learn more and more about the projects. And you can go out over as slow as possible because you put in nine hours a day. Whereas with part-time, it's only like two nights out of the whole week for three hours. Something like that. So something to keep in mind there if you are thinking about doing part-time. But overall, he, did, he said he really liked the experience at Dev Mountain and he actually learned a lot. He's working on his own application currently. Uh, he's finishing up his capstone pretty much. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlogs. Uh, this will be the last vlog from Dev Mountain. I am leaving on a flight tomorrow. But if you have any more questions that you would like to be answered about Dev Mountain, I have a lot of information now that I've been here. Uh, so if you want to ask me any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll try to get, a, get to as many as possible. You recording? Yeah. <laughs>